Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, like I told you in live stream, February is um, cleaning and purging month for me. Mostly this office. I've already started, but as you can see, I have a long way to go. And when I told you guys on live stream I was going to be doing this, you said absolutely film it. It's going to be really boring, folks. But okay, I will because this is what you're going. This is the only thing you're going to get instead of videos and live streams is me getting ready for the rest of the year. This this room has to be better organized or it's just going to get overwhelming, right? So for now, we start with my workspace, the office, sewing room, craft room. You get the picture. <music> So you're getting the idea of what I'm doing here. This dresser has been repaired with uh, staples, nails, and Gorilla Glue. This white one right here, and this one is falling apart. But as I'm taking it apart, I'm looking for things that I can use. I'm going to use as much of the materials as I can. For instance, that's my right there is my router that black thing on the wall with the orange strap around it right that's just a sling made out of fabric and staples to hold my router in place because i've asked howie to put a larger shelf here a deeper shelf and a wider shelf so i can get my elect whoops so i can get my electronics up out of the way because as you can see that's a bit of a problem i've got my ironing board table back you can't really see but that piece of plywood you see right there this piece of plywood I got this table out of the garbage okay and this is a drawer bottom now the reason I have nailed the drawer bottom on here because if you look you can see that I have a ledge that will fall down now this is an intricate thing here folks this is a fabric cutting board and you can see my baseboard heater there. Now my baseboard heater has been disconnected at, at the panel. So that never goes on because I've got a whole bunch of cords down there. And the, the baseboard heater is kind of like a shelf. And what I've done is I have stapled this thing over the wall to kind of protect the cords and stuff that are behind there. And to stop things from falling down in. I put that up there for when we put the Christmas tree up, but I'm leaving it there. 
So what I've done is I've just, like I said, stapled a drawer bottom on there to kind of cover, just make a shelf, a safety shelf. As you can see, my sewing table has been, it's used as a catch-all at the moment. There's lots of projects actually sitting there. And that's where my sewing machine is going to come back in and is going to go right there. This is my wall of craft products craft and business all that kind of stuff so this is going to get reorganized these i don't need to reorganize they can stay right where they are but they may go up on a dresser on one of the dressers this is going to get reorganized this may stay where it is but that's where the new other dresser is going to go this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and now you know why this is going to be such a huge job. My office is got clean not that long ago, but it's still a catch-all, right? So, we'll be back with part two of purging and organizing.